We also continue our live team coverage in Marietta, Oklahoma, just north of the Red River. Jack Fink is live there. And Jack, what are people telling you out there? Well, Amelia, the most extensive damage is right along I-35. Let me show you what was hit. That is the nursing home behind me where residents and staff escaped unharmed and have been transferred to other facilities. And over to my left is what is left of the Homeland Grocery Store. And next to that is a smaller Dollar General store. Just piles of rubble now. Sadly, a truck driver was killed when his 18-wheeler overturned. Now, the tornado began on the west side of the highway. Drone video we just showed a short time ago shows the twister tore its way through the Dollar Tree warehouse and crossed the highway. The Love County Emergency Management Director told me there was very little warning about this storm. It developed so fast. After it crossed the highway, it destroyed both the Dollar General and grocery stores. From there, it damaged Marietta Memorial Hospital. No patients or staff were hurt, thankfully, and they have been transferred to other hospitals in the area. The hospital is now closed after the ER sustained damage. Authorities say there were no other serious injuries, which is significant when you consider the tornado blew through here late at night. From the hospital, the tornado kept going northeast to the outskirts of town and slammed into several homes, causing damage. We met one homeowner who's trying to salvage as many of her belongings as possible after the tornado came right on top of them. Amber Sisney told us she had just fallen asleep. And I woke up to my husband saying, get up now. And he ran out into the carport and saw the, the lightning flashed and he saw what was going on and heard it. And he said, run, grab the dogs, get in the interior room. So that's what we did. And it was about a count of three, two, one after we closed that bathroom door that it hit the house. In all of that panic, she realized she forgot to get her cat. When she opened the bathroom door, there was her 19-year-old cat doing just fine, thank you very much. Authorities say most of the town's power has been restored to the 2,700 residents here. We are live in Marietta, Oklahoma. Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas.